In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a whitelisting policy using Tanium Protect. From the console, select Protect to enter the workbench. From the side menu of Protect, select Policies. Select Create Policy and enter a name on the policy. From the policy type, select App Locker. The first choice we have is Audit Only or Blocking. Audit Only will log what applications would have been blocked had the policy been enforced, where Blocking will block the applications that are listed in this policy. To support URL, you can enter a URL to be presented to the user in the event that an application is blocked. If you have a current App Locker policy, you can import it using Choose File in the XML format. By default, there are three rules for whitelisting policies. The first allows any program in the Program Files directory to be executed by everyone. The second allows anything in the Winder directory, or Windows, to be executed by everyone. And the third allows administrators to execute anything on this client, or any client. We can remove these by selecting the trash can here, and we can add more rules by entering Add Another. We have three choices when creating a rule, Path, Hash, or Publisher. Using Path, we support blobs or wildcards, and we can enter the path. An asterisk would allow anything after that directory to run. We have a choice to allow everyone or administrators with this rule, and we can add an exception. We have the same choices for exception, path, publisher, or hash. So in this rule, I will add C Windows System32. This will block anything in System32 from executing while allowing anything else in the Windows directory to be executed. If we choose Publisher, I can add the publisher's name, in this case Microsoft Corporation. The asterisk in any of the other following two categories would allow everything under Microsoft on the product name and the file name. If I wanted to get granular, I can add the product name and make a rule for each product, or I can add the file name. I can add a version number under File Version, and we could select either exactly match that version, allow anything of that version and above, or that version and below. I can add an exception for that publisher, and again, I can put the product name, or the file name, or the file version. The exception would deny that application from running specified in this exception. If we choose hash, we support SHA-256 hashes. You can enter the hash here, and you can enter optionally the file size. We can stack up these hashes and enter as many as you'd like. Using the garbage pail, we can remove any unwanted hashes in this particular rule. We can enter an explicit deny rule, and it works the same as the apply rules. We can use path, hash, or publisher. Once we finish entering our rules, we can hit create. And the next step would be adding an enforcement. We select the computer group and then preview how many clients it would apply to. Our policy will then show whether the policy is enforced and why it wouldn't be enforced.